the last will be the first and the first will be the last significant profoundly significant hear it again the last will be first and the first will be last maybe now you'll say oh that's just a story in life it doesn't happen i can prove to you in life this is exactly what happens jesus has not two philosophies one for preaching and for one for life situation no no it's one philosophy i want you to rewind your life go back to your school days or college days whatever yeah and you will notice that all the people all the students who were backbenchers were really happy people they were not miserable <laughs> they were they were the ones who had the best time of their life it's about attitude and if you if you track their life now most of them if they've not really fallen into you know mental traps most of them if they've carried that attitude of you know sitting at the last bench enjoying life really making most of the time at school or college not cribbing about the homework or the exams or the competition or the comparisons they were nicely sitting at the back bench if they have maintained the same attitude <laughs> same contentment if you track their life they will still be extremely content happy joyous people think about it huh? this is uh, a practical practical test <laughs> because when i have done this test you know most of the people i know who were backbenchers and most of them who still maintain that positive attitude i call it <laughs> are still extremely happy and joyful they're not really bothered about you know how the world will perceive them that's also a form of comparison isn't it my thinking that how the world is going to perceive me is the form of comparison they are out of that comparative mode think about it if this one thing can be set right in our personality in our being everything is gone every suffering is gone ah, and there is also spiritual competition by the way <laughs> if there are five friends who are doing yoga or doing meditation and one does better than the other the four feel bad <laughs> because they are not able to bend their body the way the the one is able to do yeah there is an inherent competition spiritual competition is huge my friend <laughs> right now you're in the corporate world so you only see corporate competition come to this side of the life <laughs> do you not hear the stories that uh, you know in india there's a big festival it's called kumbh mela it happens after every 12 years if i'm not wrong yeah 12 years 12 yeah probably kumbh mela so what happens at kumbh mela all the institutions of sadhus the renunciates come together you know millions of people and there's a tough competition they sometimes have fist fight <laughs> sadhus you know ascetics these these are saints so to so to say and there's a tough competition of you know about what who which group will take the first uh, dip snan they are called in hindi first dip in the ganges because who which whosoever group takes the first dip in the ganges is considered the most pious most spiritual most elevated uh, most blessed by the lord and and so on and so forth <laughs> spiritual competition you know i had some friends on the journey of course i i will never name them but we were we were some friends in the journey and you know we we kind of met on the path when our life started moving toward this side of realization and i always had the habit of not cutting the hair facial or head or whatever and they would you know after every few months they'll say oh your beard is longer than mine <laughs> yeah so so that you know in jokingly i'm saying that you know this is very inherent in a human being if you don't watch it it will lead to a lot of suffering and it will it will hamper your spiritual progress it will hamper your peace progress within uh, spiritual progress is nothing but a peace progress we are at peace at ease every time so it will hamper your peace progress so an extremely important point yeah and always remember as i said i'm repeating it again competition is not not just with people outside competition is also with your past with your expectation 
with your desire of a certain result and etc keep that in mind mm-hmm.